there is, I guess you could say, a main ingredient in the recipe that makes us Catholic Christians. And that main ingredient of our Catholic faith is joy. We have probably, all of us have some very fond memory of, of joyful experiences in our life. Perhaps it is a friend, maybe. Maybe a friend from a long time ago who gave you great joy as a young person or maybe even today in little things. Just yesterday, I called a boyhood friend of mine that I haven't contacted in 50 years. And before I made the call, I remembered all of the shenanigans that we did as, as boys. It was great to touch base with him. It filled me with happiness. Or maybe, maybe it is the, the joy of remembering our fathers, our dads, and I remember mine, you know, earning the living for the family, cutting the grass on the weekends, doing all the honeydews for my mom. How about for you? It brings great joy to me, and I hope it brings it to you as well. So joy as Catholic Christians is a very pattern of our lives because of our continued trust in God. And lo and behold, when we remember these things and when we live the joy out, we're surprised at ourselves, even in the midst of a shutdown, that the things that we are doing, perhaps we're doing for God, and clearly we're doing for one another. Even staying away from each other is the right thing. And it should bring joy to us. And so we, as an Easter people, have a huge deposit in the gumbo, the gumbo that makes us up. It is joy. He is the risen Christ. Hallelujah.